Hello there guys, we are having a little bit of fun in this beast of a machine. I've tuned this up to, I think it's an S2, might be an S1. Uh, it's an S2, so it's the Morgan three-wheeler, I love this car. And I'm just trying to get that influence board. It looks like a few other people are trying to get it as well. So it's off this, and oh my god, first time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely awesome! Oh my god, I really expected to be doing this for quite a while. But no, first shot. Awesome. So if you're having trouble getting that, you want to be using a Morgan Freewheeler with uh, an S2 class on it. This car is just absolutely amazing. It's the only one that I like driving in, um, in this view. Oh, it's so good in this view, it really is. And it, I mean, I've mentioned it before, it drifts like round corners. It's just so awesome. Really, really awesome. So get one of these. Get a Morgan three-wheeler off the auction for almost nothing. Pop an S2 class on it. And, uh, and it's very, very easy to get stuff. Let's have a look at that other one. There's another one on top of something that I haven't got yet. Down here. So um, let's get rid of all this shit off the uh, map. And just put down, what are they called? Bonus boards? Yeah, that's them. Well, I'll have a little bit of a crack at this one. It's that one there. I don't really bother with the influence ones much, but this fast travel one here, oh, that is a bitch. And I think um, probably the best way of approaching it, you have to kind of bounce off a little ramp that's at the back here somewhere. So I want to get up by this horse, I think from there, and then uh, kind of come across this way. It's probably the best. Let's have a go. I'll, I'll drive to about here and then head to it in a straight line. If I get this one first time as well, that'd be amazing. I tried for ages to get this one a while ago, I just couldn't get it. But yeah, that Standing Stone one just, that was pretty epic. Oh shit, shit, what's going on? Why the, why the hell did that happen? Have I got some weird controller configuration? No, I haven't. That was weird. It was like, a, it, was like it was rewinding. Oh, it's very weird. In fact, it's acting a little bit strange. Right. Never mind. Oh, this machine is a beast. Look at it go. Oh, come on, you can get round. Oh, I'll get some skill points for that uh, fence. I don't mind, really. When you crash, it's not such a, a big deal if you can get extra skill points from it, is it? Oh, I think I need to tweak my tune a bit. It's not turning quite as much as I'd like it to. Or maybe it's just because I've been used to other cars and now this one is uh, a little bit heavier. Oh, I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to drive straight across here. It's much faster. My car almost looks like a boat. Oops. I'm not going to spend very long trying to get this, I'm just going to have a couple of goes at it. I'm just going to get my jump in the right place and then maybe have a couple of rewinds if I mess it up, and then get back on it. Oh, I like how I didn't knock any of that stuff down. In 400 yards, yards, turn right. I wonder how long those other guys have been at those uh, standing stones trying to get that thing. There's the horse look over there. So let's have a think. I think right. probably coming from up near the windmill is going to be best. Turn around, Turn around when it is safe, to, safe do so. to do so. So yeah, I'll do that. I'll go over by the windmill. And come down from that side. Right, okay, let's have a look at the map and line it up. Oh my goodness, it's all the way over there. Right, so it's that, there it is, look, you can see it on the mini-map now. So I'm going to get a little bit further up here, because I want to be in a decent gear. Yards. And then I'll have to worry about my gears if I need to rewind. So I'm going to go from about here. Right, let's go. Good job I've not got hay fever. That would have been a complete nightmare. Oh, what's the route? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. There it is, look. Off there. And it's just on top of that church. You'll see it when I go past this tree. There it is. Alright, so I've got a good line. Do a little bit of rewinding and get some speed. So I want to get off, I don't know, how much speed there. I might have to move to the right just a little bit. I need to be going a lot faster. Now the reason I chose this car for trying this out is because it weighs almost nothing 
and it looks like an aeroplane. Turn around, and I love it. Go so. on, I'm nowhere near. That was pathetic. <laughs> okay, I, I need to get a lot further up that hill. I want to get a lot more speed when I come down. Where's the windmill? Head towards the windmill and then just try and get a nice straight line. Shut up, woman. I'm done with my sat nav now. We're, we're where we want to be. I will do. It's completely safe. I'm in a field. Right, about here, I think. We'll start from this road. Right, this is going to enable me to get a nice bit of speed. And hopefully have a little bit of control by the time I get there as well. In 200 yards, okay, that's good. That's very good. In oh, where is it? Yards, oh, ah, I'm supposed to have gone round the back of that house. So I've got to go through that clump of trees. So I'm going to go a bit more left. Through this clump of trees and then up here. Oh, go on! <laughs> Oh no! Ah, oh. right. I'll give it five tries, and then I'm just going to stop no matter what. So I think I just need to be a tiny bit right. Maybe I should have restarted from there. That would have been good. Turn around, Turn around. when it is safe to do so. Tiny bit more right. That's the one. What? Oh, I'm not fast enough. So I didn't really hit a good enough ramp that time. I don't think. So maybe going left and then turning into the right. So let's try again. Go left a bit and then turn into it. Oh, I've lost my speed. Oh no. No, that's no good at all. Well, that first one wasn't bad, was it? I got onto the church roof. I think maybe Turn nearer the top. To so. About here. Ah, yes. Go on, up, 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 up. Do a bunny up. You can do it. <laughs> oh my word. It's a fast travel one as well. They're my favourite. They're the ones I want to get. I don't care about the influence ones, and the cash ones are so small. I think a, a tiny shade to the right. There. Oh no, it's way too low. It's not easy, is it? It's really not easy. I mean, this probably isn't the best car, but I really like it. Uh, a light car that drives really fast. I mean, I'm only going 150 miles an hour. Ah! <laughs> it's probably better in something that goes much, much, much faster than this, but this car is a hell of a lot of fun. I don't think I'm going to get it with this car. I think the car's too light. I've sort of lost my route a little bit now as well. Let me think. Ah, yes, I can. This way a bit. Oh, that's no good. So I want to go left a little bit. As I'm coming down, I want to go left, and then I want to turn towards the right. I'll restart from here. So it's a left a bit more here, down here, and then move it towards the right. That bit there. Oh, that's a good angle. It's just slightly, slightly too slow to be able to get on the top roof. I have got on the top roof before, right next to it, in this car, uh, on my previous attempt, I don't know a while ago. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've only tried it once before this session. I've had one other session at it, and I did get onto the church roof, onto the proper one uh, next to it. So I, I'm pretty certain you can do it in this car, but I do think a faster car's probably going to be a lot easier. Oh my goodness! This car is quite dangerous because she's too tall for that little uh, bar at the back. If she was short, she'd be safe, but she's not. So she's uh, very vulnerable in this car. Ooh, shit, 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 nah. Ah, that's terrible. Rewind, rewind. I'm not going to get it, am I? It'd be such a shame if I had to stop this video and I don't get it. Ah, that's terrible. So I want to kind of go down towards the left a bit more, like this. And now turn up into it. I'm going to hit the tree. Oh, fuck. I'm going to hit the tree. Why don't we start from here this time? Oh, God, there's trick or treaters at my door. I can't leave it. Sorry, guys. You're not getting any sweets from here. You'll have to come back in about 10 minutes. Go on. Bounce. Oh. I'm sure you're not supposed to drive your car at the side of a church like this.
Oh, no. oh, I feel so guilty for not going and giving the children sweets. <laughs> I need to get on top of this church. This is far more important than so Come on! Now, uh, ooh, that would have really hurt her face. Some try from here. Slight adjustment. Ah, didn't work. Let's try again. Oh my goodness. I, I really think I'm just, I just haven't got quite enough speed on this car to be able to do this. Although that's not true, is it? I keep saying, oh, I'm up there. Oh, I've been in totally the wrong place and upside down. <laughs> ah. Let's try from here then. We were so close there. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Oh, that's so close. That's the one! It must be! Oh. Right, next time guys, just a slight tap to that side and I think we've got it. Oh. Right, we're going to get it within five. One, I feel so bad that some children have just uh, knocked on my door. And because I'm recording a video, they're not getting any sweets. Oh, so bad, so bad. Come on, this is the one. Just so slightly more to the left. Let's do it. Go. Ah, oh, it skids over. And I think if I went any more to the left, I wouldn't make it onto the roof. I think I'd hit that side piece. One more try. And you know, if I don't get it, it's not going to be just one more try. Okay, let's go again. We have to get it. We're so close. So it's, I, I knew it was doable in this car. Oh God, what's happened? Uh, I know it's doable in this car, absolutely, because I've got on the roof before. Oh! I've got to say, what I did before is probably only as good as what I'm doing now. And I gave up before. I did this a lot of times and then I just couldn't get up there. So I gave up and I thought I'll come back and give it another crack later. So uh, we're probably going to be having the same experience this time. Go on. Get out of the car. Just go and pick it up with your hand. Just park and go and get it. Look, it's there. Right next to you. I tried to press my handbrake then to kind of handbrake turn on the roof, see if that would help. But unfortunately, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> so all I did is look behind me. There was no handbrake action whatsoever. I'll try my handbrake this time. I don't think it'll work, but I'll give it a go. Oh, I don't. Ah, I wish you could just get out. I wonder if my drone can get it for me. I don't think so. Oh God, it's starting to rain. I've got no hope in the rain. That's not a good sign at all. Oh dear. Ah, well, at least I've stopped some children getting bad teeth. <laughs> and I'm gonna eat their sweets. My wife bought loads and loads of candies uh, for the trick-or-treaters. Like we're in uh, an apartment, but we get a lot of trick-or-treaters just from the rest of the apartment block, really, um, to save them having to go outside where it's uh, not so safe for them at night. So she bought a stack of candy uh, from the mall the other day. And um, I mean, I can't, I can't say no. I didn't open the door because I was playing on the Xbox, <laughs> trying to get this thing on top of a church. So I'm just going to have to eat all the candy and then lie and say, "Oh, the kids had some amazing costumes." <laughs> Go on, get it, get it. Ah, this is so frustrating. I can only record for an hour, so I've got to get it soon. Oh, I've only been about 15 minutes. <gasps> I've rerun too many times. Oh no, I'm probably going to have messed it all up now. Go on. This is it! Oh, I'm on! Oh, that was good. That was really good. Look how close my wheel was. That was insanely close. From here, slight tweak to the left. Oh! I thought I had it then, you know. I really did. Right, this one. <laughs> oh, it's getting worse. Oh. 
do like this Morgan, and I am. I'm quite fond of uh, old buildings as well. So me smacking my Morgan into this chair, that looked good, didn't it? That did look quite promising then, but unfortunately not. I'm so close to the corner of it. Handbrake. Ooh. No. I pressed the right button, but it didn't really do anything. In fact, the handbrake isn't going to be much use when your wheels are in the air. Oh! I thought I'd gone too far left then, but actually it was quite promising, so I'll do that again. Oh, well, that was it. Oh, I got over the church. That's a first. That's not happened before. Did you see how close that was? Ah. Oh. If I can sideswipe it. If I swing my car around sideways as I'm going through the air, I've probably got a better chance of getting it. Ugh. Okay, swinging your car around sideways, uh, sideways whilst in the air is not actually possible. <laughs> my car only changes direction when my wheels are on the floor. What were they playing at, putting things on stock churches? This is not a driving game, it's a bloody platformer. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Positive mental attitude. Right, I'm going to visualise it, okay? Ah, give me a sec. I need some coke. Where's it gone? Not that type of coke. Oh god, that sounds really flat. Mm -hmm. And it's Coke Zero as well. My uh, wife's daddy's diabetic, so we always get Coke Zero. I think it's bloody horrible. It just tastes like saccharin, but uh, it's all we've got in the house, so it's what I'm drinking. Right, here we go. Visualise. Visualise it with me. We're going to jump off this ramp. We're going to fly through the air and we are going to smash that fast travel board. Let's have some pizza. Okay, are you ready? I need your energy here, guys. Let's focus. Three, two, one. Go on! Ugh. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I should just spend like however long it takes now, excuse me, to get this. And then I should edit out everything and put me getting it directly after me saying, I need your energy, let's visualize. And then you'd all be like, wow, we did it. <laughs> oh, I really thought that was gonna be it. Why does my car have to go so far over to that side every time I hit the roof? Oh my god, she needs a stick. She needs like to joust it. That would work. If she had a jousting stick, she could hold it out of the car and then just to hang, you know, balance it on that little uh, rear view mirror. Oh! Oh my god, I thought that was going to be it. Right, that was really promising and I went way further left that time, so let's do that again. Oh, that's too much. I'm not even going to hit the church. Right. Okay, let's focus on this one. We're gonna to go just a little bit left and we're gonna get it. She needs to get, snap that exhaust pipe off and use it as a jousting rod. Oh, God. Anybody else who's got this? Did it take you this long? Did you have this much fun? <laughs> Whee! Isn't this car amazing? I just look at it, right? It just needs some wings. You should be able to push a button that make wings come out of this car. You really should. Oh, that's no good. Oh! It's unbelievable how much you go to the right the moment you hit the church. Drive, drive! Oh, God. I, this is obviously the way to do it. My rewinds are not taking me very far back, are they? It's because I'm doing too much on the roof. This one will take me a bit further back this time. Gives me a bit more adjustability. And if I can bounce off the wall of the church, like higher up, and then bounce onto it, because I'm bouncing off the roof this way and going to the right, I wonder if I can hit the, the like wall and then bounce along the roof. So we'll try that. Not exactly what I meant, but <laughs> I want to hit that wall and then bounce along the roof. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'll give it a go. Now I'm just doing exactly the same thing as before. All right, so more to the right, I want to bounce off. Nah, it's, my rewind wasn't far enough, really. 
I'm not doing it again now. I'm not pressing another rewind and, and losing this. Getting on, getting on the roof is an achievement. Oh my god, look, it's night time again now. And we've had a rain shower, that's gone. And now it's going to be night time before I get it. I wonder what the villagers think that live in this little, uh, this little village in Scotland next to this church. <laughs> Some fucking lunatic in an old Morgan thinks they're in the war. Uh, flying into a church. Go on! Yeah. Oh, that was close. Maybe she ought to... Uh, no, that's just wrong. I was going to say she needs to lose some weight. Maybe if she took some clothes off, she'd be able to do it. But no, that's just wrong. I can't drive around naked. That wouldn't be right at all. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, blimey, that would scare those people in that house. Well, guys, what, how long have we been now? Let's have a look. 20 minutes. So I've been doing this for at least... I mean, I got the other one immediately. And I've been doing this for bloody ages. In and what, what a hell I was thinking there. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, stop, stop. <laughs> That's enough. Calm down. Oh, shit. Oh, this is not good now, is it? Because now I've lost my, my super line. Let's go back again. And get a little bit further up that hill then. At least this is showing you where it is. Hmm. Okay, it's, it's gone bad. No, too low. So I want to get uh, maybe a little bit more over this way. And then turn it in. Oh, I missed a turn in. Oh, I haven't got the... You, you have to hit that little bump. If you don't hit the bump, you don't get the height. So you've got to be a bit to the right to get on that little... That little kicker. Up there. And that's a mess. Let's have a look at it. A bit more up. No, that's no good. So maybe slightly to the right and then come down on it. Right now, I can't stop now because I've wasted too much of your time, so I've got to get it. Oh, oh my god, there's more kids at the door. Uh, I'm going to have to go and give them some sweets. Oh, this is terrible. I'll let them sing their Spanish song that I don't understand first, and once they've finished that, I'll go and give them some candy. Trouble is, they'll know what I mean then. And then more will come in. I'll say, we know some what's in, and then I won't be able to carry on doing this. I'll give it five more minutes. What time is it? Oh, it's only quarter to seven. They're early. Super early. Go on. Bounce off that wall. That's what I wanted to do last time. And it doesn't work at all. I feel so bad. I didn't even carve a pumpkin. I was going to carve a pumpkin and put it outside the door uh, as a kind of invite to say, yes, we have candy. Uh, but I didn't. I didn't get time. Well, I said I didn't get time. I could have done it. I could have prioritised time, but, uh, but no, I didn't. Last year, I carved quite a few pumpkins and put them all outside the door, and uh, I carved them as miniums. So uh, they look pretty cool, actually. Go on. Ugh. And this year, I haven't done anything. This year, I've not done any fancy dress or anything like that. Actually, uh, a few years ago, it was. Um, was going out for Halloween, and I hadn't thought of a fancy dress. And uh, I was having a shave, and I thought, I know what I can do. We've got some like prosthetic makeup and stuff like that in the house. And uh, I shaved a section of my hair off on the side of my head, like completely shaved it bald. And then um, I did like a prosthetic scar all the way down my head, so it looked like I'd been lobotomized. It looked amazing. And uh, it's, um, so I did this the day before going out. I mean, this was, a few years ago, because it was before I met my wife, it was when I was with my ex. And uh, I went down to my ex and I said, I've got my costume for tomorrow! And uh, showed her, very proud of myself, and she said, we're going out in a bit. I was like, you what? And she said, like, we're going to a restaurant, I booked a restaurant. And um, I had to go to the restaurant wearing a suit with this big gap on the side of my head with no hair at all in this big section, like a big rectangle. And then... Uh, like a, a prosthetic uh, scar with stitches 
Uh, which looked really real and was at quite a posh restaurant. I mean, I couldn't wear, like, a hat or anything to cover it. I didn't want to get rid of it because it was quite good. So I didn't want to have to do it all again for the next day. But, um, yeah, we, we went to the restaurant like that. <laughs> Everybody in the restaurant was just... I mean, they were, they were staring at me, but they were trying not to let me know. And they were all looking and thinking, oh, my God, what's happened to him? And I bet they were thinking, is he getting a car crash? Is he had brain surgery? You know what I mean? But, no, it was just... Um, it was just a, a preparation for the following day's fancy dress party. So when I went to the fancy dress party, I, I got like a straight jacket and a pair of karate bottoms. And uh, I just went there with nothing on my feet, so in bare feet, with this straight jacket on with the arms all hanging around. They're just dancing like a complete lunatic uh, at the uh, Halloween party. And a lot of people kind of avoided me. <gasps> oh, I thought I was going to do it. That was so close. Oh, my God. And then the following year, um, go on, oh, if I pull back on the stick, you can pull your nose up, just like a real aeroplane. Oh no, I've pressed the wrong button. Oh god, that's going to go too far. So the, the following year, um, I couldn't think of what to do. Uh, no, we've got, I mean, my ex did a lot of special effects makeup, so we always had prosthetics in the house. Uh, but I borrowed a suit off my dad. And I buried it in the garden. I, I, I burnt it and buried it. Well, I say borrow. He didn't want it back. Uh, so, yeah, I buried it in the garden and I burnt holes in it, scratched it all up. It looked a mess. And um, I made myself look like a zombie. And uh, I did all... Oh, God, that looked not bad, actually. I should let that carry on. Uh, I did myself look like a zombie with, like, a big wound on the side of my head. Like, so I want to cave the side of my head in. And then I did, like, my veins all black. So it looked like the infection was spreading. And um, I, he looked good, and my ex also did herself as like a zombie. She did herself like a zombie nurse with a gunshot in the centre of her head, as though someone had tried to kill the zombie. And um, so we went, we both went like that. And uh, we won the fancy dress competition, so we had to dance all night as zombies, as you would. I mean, if you're in the character of something for Halloween, you've got to stay in character, yeah? So we danced all night as zombies, and we drank champagne, uh, which we won. So guys, I'm going to try, ah, how many times more? Five more times. I don't think I'm going to get it. I, I've been as close as this before, and when I did this the last time, I gave up on it. I got on the roof. I think I've done better this time. I've got on the roof more consistently, and I've been so close. If she just had a stick, she could hit it. But I'm going to go five more times. I can barely even see it now. Oh. A little bit to the right from that one. No, from here. Oh, no, that's no good. Oh, so that's one and a half. <laughs> I'm going to go back from up here again. Right, it's the next day. I've got to stop because it's it's not right that I'm not giving the children sweets. Oh, I really thought that was it. Oh, God. <laughs> I reckon that um, Pagina's, uh, the, the Pagini, the Zonda, the Forza Edition Speedy Boost one, I reckon that might be good. That's pretty light. I mean, I chose this because it weighs bloody nothing, but that's light as well, but that goes way faster than this. So I think that, that might be the best bet. Go on, go on, go on, go on. I'll tell you what, I'll do uh, three more, then I'll reverse up to the road, and I'll change into the Zonda and just have a little crack at it before we close the video. I don't think I'm going to get it for you though. So this, <laughs> this, is not, this isn't going to be called how to get the fast travel board from the top of the church. No, it's, it, I should name this video how to waste a lot of time trying to get the fast travel board and failing. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. One more in this car, then I'll change over to the Zonda and we'll see how we get on with that. Oh, oh my goodness, don't tease me on the last one. But I'll tell you what, I do love this car, it's beautiful, it really is. You've got to get one of these and slap an S2 uh, tuning on it. It's just amazing. Right, I'll reverse up to the road and now I'll change the car. Uh, I'll reverse a little bit further. So that when I say start from here, In 100 I can yards, stop yards, on this road. Left, so it delivers my car to this road. So let's get that Zonda. Um, anyway, let's have a look what, oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to have a look what other fast cars there are. So I'll sort them, excuse me, by class. Have a look what else might be good. 
Uh, that's not going to do it, is it? Actually, that that that's not a bad idea because it's it's light and it's fast. This is fast. <laughs> it weighs nothing. You can't control it. It's just absolutely ludicrous. So that's that's what I think will do it. That's under. This might do it as well as catering. Alright, I'm going to stick with my original decision and go with the Zonda. Clean skills boost. Well, we ain't going to get any clean skills while we're smacking into a church, are we? So we've got to do it now, guys, because the video is now ho over 30 minutes of recording, and I've done nothing. I've showed you how to do nothing. Oh, my God. Right, I've got to, I've got to get up the hill like I did before. Sorry, sheep. Go on, get out of the way. I like how in the spring they're lambs, and then when you come back later in the summer or the autumn, they're sheep. So I like that. If you hadn't noticed, isn't that good? Very impressive. Oh god, this car's a fucking nightmare. I could have done with something that's slightly better grip. Like, where is it? I'm gonna start in second gear, it's skidding all over the place. Can't control it at all. That is total shite. I think I'd be better off in the beetle. Oh my god, that's just absolutely horrible. It's raining as well. That's even worse. Oh, should I try something like um What's gonna be good for this? Something that's gonna drive on this successfully. I'll tell you what I've got. Oh, I've got to do this on that. I mean, I can't be bothered to change this car, uh, the tuning on it or anything like that, but I do have a pretty decent alpha that might be good for this. This one here, or this one... No, this one has been... Uh, oh, it's really heavy, though. But I've put all-wheel drive on this. What's this like? Oh, it's too slow. It's got to be fast. The Atom's going to slide all over the place, isn't it? I'll give it a crack. Let's try with the Atom. I think the best bet is going to be that Morgan. Uh, I'm getting so close to it. It's just, I don't know, maybe a different approach line. And uh, it might work. So where the fuck am I? Where, where has he put me? Is, there, is this the field over here? Where's that field gone, the yellow one? Ah, there it is. Look, the rapeseed oil. That's what I want to be in. Right, let's start here. It's down there. Let's go. I bet all this stuff is thrashing her face in this car. Mm. Losing control. But I've got up to sixth gear, so that's pretty good. So as long as I can get a bit better control. Oh, God, bloody hell, how much does this car weigh? I thought it was supposed to be light. Ah. What else? What else? What about the eye setter? Shall we have a crack in the eye setter? I don't think I'm going to be able to control the eye setter to get it anywhere near where I want to actually take off. Ooh, stop. Right, let's try the eye setter. I think this is a stupid idea though. BMW. Uh, Bugatti, Boulder, this way. There they are. Where are you? Oh, you're only 6.3 speed according to this. I don't believe that. You seem to be ridiculously fast. When I was driving you, it felt like you were going a lot faster than a 6.3. That's for sure. Let's see how it does. <laughs> well, it's certainly got um, weight in its favour to get over to where I want to start from. So I want to start over here. I should change gear. It's actually not that bad to drive. But it feels a lot faster than it is, so I'm not so sure it's going to be able to get airborne. Where's the thing gone? Am I anywhere near the right trajectory? No, I'm doing, I'm doing a pirouette. That's just absolutely shocking. No, uh, it's got to be the Morgan, hasn't it? Do we think anything could beat the Morgan? 
What's really fast and doesn't weigh a ton? See, that's the problem, they're too bloody heavy. What about this with a tune? I can't bother to go and tune it, otherwise I would. Yeah, that thing with a tune wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. That's got a 7.3 on its speed. It doesn't weigh very much. I think um, this or the other one that's similar to it uh, with a tune on it could be the way to go. But at the moment, this is very probably my best option. I'm going to have another little crack with this one and then I'm going to call it a day. I do apologise if I don't manage to get it. Um, in fact, if I don't manage to get it, I'll actually tell you in the description. Uh, which you probably haven't checked until now. <laughs> no, I, I need to go over this way. Get out of the way, tree. That's the church just down the road there, look. I'm pretty sure there isn't a different approach. I think it's got to be this one. You have to jump off this. I'm, I'm pretty certain that nothing else is going to do it. This car's amazing. It really is amazing. You've got to got to get one of these and put this tune on and just see what it's like. You'll love it. I don't know what tune this is. I just chose the most popular S2 class one. So, but I'm guessing this car on an S2 with almost any tuning is going to be epic. I'm going to get stable, but when I'm doing my rewinds, if I need one, I might get it first time. <laughs> Go on. Ugh. Uh, I want to get kind of stable, so when you're doing your rewinds, you don't have to mess around with the gears and all that nonsense. That's why you want to go so far up the hill. I'm not on the line, am I? <gasps> Good line, bad height. So we need, you need to be more to the left. Look at them, the little lambs. Are we in spring or summer? What is it? Oh, I can't, I can't. And then you can actually rewind. We are in summer, aren't we? Because we've, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're in summer. Nah, I can see that was off. Slightly to the right of that. I'm gonna take my shorter one this time. Ooh, get out of the way. Oh my goodness. She's got her head buried in the church roof. If you're gonna die, you might as well do it on top of a church. Right, I'm wasting your time now. This, uh, oh, the sheep just really want to come up here, but every time they do, they shit themselves with my car. Go on! Oh my god, that was close! Did you see how close that wheel was? Oh, that is seriously close. I can't turn anymore. Ooh, yes, I can. <laughs> what the fuck happened there? Don't go too far back, that was close! Oh my god! <laughs> god! Come on, I have to do it before some kids buzz the door again. If anyone uh, rings the door thing, I've got to stop and go give them sweets. And I need to eat two sets of candy now. Oh. I think that moving to the right a little bit and then bringing it into I didn't mean to do that and then bringing it in uh, probably you lose your height a bit when you do that I bet there's a video on YouTube right I never look at other people's videos at all and some people leave comments saying oh you copied someone's video I'm not, no, I haven't and I couldn't give a shit if someone's video is the same as mine someone left a comment the other day right I thought what a dick um, I so you can actually block people from putting comments on your channel and I nearly blocked them because their comment was so annoyingly offensive. And it was something along the lines of, oh, how cute that you have copied exactly someone else's thumbnail from a popular YouTuber to try and get views. <gasps> oh, that was close. Right, number one, I couldn't give a fuck about views. Uh, number two, I didn't copy anybody. I just got a picture of the game, which I'm assuming most people who make videos on this game do the same, and put some text on the top in a color that was contrasting 
Okay, it's not rocket science. Oh, they really pissed me off. I just thought, what an absolute twat. And uh, I do wish, absolutely wish, that I could just block people from commenting or watching my videos. It's like, I don't want to entertain you if you're going to come back and go, oh, you're copying somebody. What a twat. Oh, that's so close. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't watch other people's videos. I don't copy them. If I do an idea based on anyone else's idea or anyone else's suggestion or anything like that, then I overly give them credit for it. I'm all about sharing. <gasps> oh my God, we're going to get it. So yeah, I'm all about that. I'm all about the community of it. But what I was going to say is I bet on YouTube there's a video uh, uploaded by someone else that says how to get the fast travel board on top of the on top of the church, and they just get it first time, and it's dead easy. They tell you what car, what tuning. It's like go from here, do this, do this, job done, get it first time. And then people watch my videos where I talk a load of nonsense. I get completely distracted, and I spend about an hour <laughs> trying to get this thing. <laughs> oh, I do apologise, but thank you. Oh God, I thought I was going to be it again then. The problem is, my bloody, my wheel on the left is uh, is hitting the roof, and then that's forcing me to the right. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to drive along the top of the church for a minute there. You have to admit, we're getting closer, yes? I admit it, we are getting closer, but now, now this is, I think I need to go rewind a bit further, and I'm going to really regret it. Stay straight. Okay, that's not too bad. Hello, sheep. No, 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 no. Right, this is a better line. Just a tad that way, and now in. Oh, don't hit your head! <laughs> Try it again. Smack. Oh, that's good, that's good. I wanted to go back a little bit further. Very different line that time. Didn't work. Jesus, I, in a minute my capture is going to end because it only allows me to do one hour. No, I'm not sure how long it's been. It's got to be about 45 minutes. I'm so sorry. I can't even think of a story to tell you. At least I've told you about my Halloween costume. If nothing else, you got to hear about my Halloween costume. It was epic. It looked amazing. I had it as my Facebook picture for literally ages. Oh yeah, I remember what I was going to tell you, I, I stopped halfway through, I must have got distracted by something. That happens a lot. Um, when I did the zombie, and uh, my ex did the zombie nurse and we won, well on the way there, I picked up my friend and he was dressed as like a skeleton, he whited his face out and all that kind of stuff. But the stuff he'd used to white his face, it all come off. So on the way there, we said, well we'll pop to Asda in the car on the way, and we'll get some more like uh, kids. Uh, face paint stuff and we'll redo the, the skeleton for you on the way because it, it was you know it got it was a mess and it, his costume didn't look very good so we went to Asda um, and as a zombie <laughs> so because I was dressed as a zombie and because I'm slightly a little bit of an idiot at times it has to be said I decided it would be funny if I shuffled all the way around Asda as a zombie then I thought it'd be quite funny if I went behind one of the tills and pretended that I'd worked there. So it was a little bit like Shaun of the Dead. So I stood behind one of the tills telling, like waving people over with my zombie arm. I was doing like a, a Day of the Dead zombie, so very slow and shuffly. Um, I, I wasn't doing a uh, uh, 28 Days Later style zombie. Jesus, that would have scared the hell out of the shoppers. I was running around like a lunatic. Yeah, I was shuffling around, so it was funny. I like, I'm coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> oh, it was epic. So yeah, pretending that I worked in Asda, so I just squeezed myself behind a till and uh, and beckoned some people over. Nobody, nobody believed I worked there. Nobody come and tried to uh, buy their shopping, but it made me laugh. It made my day. I thought it was funny. And then many years ago, when I worked at McDonald's, we've said Steve from various videos. Um, we used to go to Coy Service Station on the M6. Uh, very regularly after we'd finished work at two in the morning, we used to go to Julie's Pantry there. And they were the shittiest staff you can ever imagine. They were so bloody slow. So we went to Julie's Pantry one day and we'd all still got our McDonald's uniforms on. There's quite a few of us. And uh, I mean, like a coach load of people came in. Uh, and we were at the front 
So we just, all of us, all at once, it was like a unison decision to do it. We just all jumped over the counter uh, to the, uh, the kitchen side of Julie's pantry. And we was all going, can we, can we help you over at this till, please? And um, being uh, McDonald's folk in Julie's pantry. And the manager of Julie's pantry went absolutely apeshit. And she called the security from the... Uh, um, because it's a service station on the M6, they've got like security guards there and everything, so she called all them over. They really were impressed. We thought it was dead funny, but no, apparently jumping over the counter and pretending to serve people in a restaurant where they obviously can't cope and they're rubbish. That's, that's uh, apparently not allowed. Although I have done it the other way. Um, I used to be a store manager of Tamworth McDonald's many, many years ago. And uh, while I was working there, there was myself and two other staff working, that was it. And the cinema uh, kicked out and uh, loads of people piled into McDonald's. I mean, we were rammed. I was like, shit, we've got no chance to get anywhere with this. So I stood on the counter and said, does anybody want to help us? I'll give you a free meal. And this couple at the back, he put his hand up, he goes, I'll help you. So I was like, all right then. So he, I brought him round to the, uh, the kitchen side and I kind of taught him how to use the till a little bit, gave him a float, uh, put an apron and a hat on him, and he served. So he stayed there serving until all the people had gone, and his missus was sitting down waiting. So when he'd finished, uh, I gave him his missus a free meal. Now I thought that was using ingenuity. <laughs> I thought I was being really clever. Uh, and the head office of McDonald's were really not very impressed. Actually, I wasn't a store manager of that one. I was a store manager of another store. That was, uh, I was the assistant. But the store manager was a woman called Lee at the time. So she was the one above me, but I was a manager. And she wasn't there on the day, but she did find out about it. She went, bloody ape shit. So yeah, I thought I was just being efficient. But uh, never mind. <laughs> but I mean, we got through the queue. He did a really good job. I mean, his till was down, so he probably robbed some money. But uh, at the end of the day, the customer comes first, if I can serve customers faster, by temporarily employing a petty thief to serve them burgers and then giving him a free meal, then I will. So I don't think he even washed his hands, but <laughs> never mind. So yeah, I used to have a lot of fun working there. I worked at the Nuneaton one, it was my first job from school. Um, and then I got promoted to a manager there. I mean, everybody who works there gets promoted to a manager if you don't leave. I mean, Steve didn't. My friend Steve, who I speak about quite a lot, he got, he, he got fired um, because in his report it said um, that he had burnt the crew room, that's like the staff room, he'd set it on fire. Right? What he actually did, uh, he set fire to a fag packet that was in the ashtray in the middle of the table uh, in the staff room. And these, these were the days when you were allowed to smoke. Uh, inside, so they were, you know they, we were allowed to have an ashtray in there, and the, the whole of the fag pack it didn't even burn; it just burnt a little bit of it, and then it went out. And it happened on my shift, but there was a cleaner there called Jean, who I fucking hate. She used to grass me up for everything, and um, she uh, she made up this bullshit story, and she said she had to clean all this smoke off the walls and everything in the morning. So obviously there was no evidence, but she said she cleaned it off. So Steve didn't actually get fired for it, but they made him resign. So um, he couldn't claim Dole. It, was a, it wasn't a, um, a corporate store, it was a franchise store. So the couple of guys that owned it, they made him resign uh, so that um, he'd have trouble uh, getting uh, you know, job seekers allowance or whatever it was back then uh, because it was his decision to leave. They did something similar to me. <laughs> but uh, they, when they found out what I'd done, which I'm not going to tell you, they said they were going to follow me home with baseball bats and break my legs. And then they, they made me write out a letter saying that I was resigning. I mean, I was a bloody manager. They made me write out this letter saying that I was going to resign. Uh, as of today, the letter said. And then, uh, go on! Oh, what's happened to your speed? Uh, and then the letter wasn't dated. And they said, if I do anything else wrong, they, uh, they was going to just date the letter. So one of the things that had happened, which is the reason that they'd done this, is um, I used to always do the night shift. And when you do the night shift, you finish tidying up, it gets to about two o'clock in the morning, and then you start fucking around. Now, a tartar sauce gun that you put the tartar sauce on the filet of fish with, that shoots a fluid ounce of tartar sauce. And if you kind of pump it when you press it, you can get it to shoot all the way across the kitchen. So you've got like a Big Mac sauce gun, a tartar sauce gun, and a chicken sandwich sauce gun, and they all shoot pretty far if you know how to use them properly. 
So after shift, we used to just have fights with the, uh, the source. And there was, I mean, we always did it. We always got away with it. We just wrote it off as waste and just made sure we cleaned up properly. But this one day, um, one of our friends, it was actually Craig's girlfriend, this was, from previous said video, uh, Hannah, her name was, we locked Hannah into the storeroom in this little cage thing. I mean, she was up for it. She wasn't, we weren't terrorizing her or anything. But once she was in the cage and couldn't get out, uh, the cage was just like, um, you know, like a cage, you know, made of wire mesh. Uh, so then we pelted her with Big Mac sauce and tart sauce. <laughs> I mean, we emptied quite a few tubes of this stuff onto her, which is worth quite a bit of money. Uh, but it did make quite a mess of the stock room. And Jean, the annoying old bag, uh, she, uh, she grasped me up for it. A couple of other things happened as well, and uh, she found out about those, and she told the managers, and the managers, well, not the manager, the franchisee, and then the franchisee uh, called me into the store in the morning, and uh, he had a little bit of a conversation, and it resulting in me writing out a letter of resignation without a date. And in fact, I have another interesting story that I'm not going to share with you today about another incident at same McDonald's where I got called in in the morning after my shift because something that was found in the toilets. So I'll save that one for another day. We're on about 50 minutes. Come on, we've got to get this. This is pathetic. Go on, bounce up the church. I'm getting worse. There's not been any kids for a while, so maybe it's quarter past seven. I don't know, that seems quite early. I mean, they live in the same building. Only two have come so far, so there must be more. I don't know how many kids live in this building. I'll tell you what, a bloody lot of dogs live in this building that bark all the time, but I don't see many kids. But we're going to have five more tries and then we're just going to stop because this is getting silly. I'll make another video where I actually do it and I'll edit a bit of the video to the point where, where I'll make it. Why am I only getting halfway up the church? What is going on? Ah, but I'm, I'm hitting the wrong, wrong takeoff. Let's have a look where I'm taking off. Do you think I need to be down the hill a bit more? And then come up the hill. So down here, and then turn into it on this bit. Oh, there's a bump there. Okay, that's more in line. See that little bump? That way a bit, mm, that's too much. Okay, five more. I've said that before, haven't I? Right, five more serious, and then it's, I'm calling it a day. One. Oh, I'm so good. If I don't get this, I'm gonna be gutted. Do I'm not even on the top roof anymore. Maybe I need a bigger, um, I'll rewind further. Am I going slower than I were? I can't imagine that I am. Number three, here we go. No, I'm obviously in the wrong place. Let's rewind. Go down the hill a bit and then come up. So to the left and then to the right, I'll rewind again. Was that two or three? I don't know. I'm going to say it was two, so I don't get an extra one. Oh, I completely missed the church! <laughs> That's never happened before. That was pretty awesome, actually. So, yeah, just to the right of that might be good. So that was two. <laughs> I used to do Kung Fu years ago, and he used to count our press-ups, and he'd be like, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, Five, six, seven, it was like, ah, we did about a hundred. <laughs> but now I am using that same technique just to get an extra little go on this church. Right, I'm gonna rewind a bit further. And this is the one. This is the one. Come on. Go on. You can do it. Oh, you useless, useless machine. Oh, I need some wings. Where's Clay Rimplora? Where is Claire Rayner when you need her with her wings? She'll slap a couple of those on the side of his car and I'll be away. Last try. Oh, it's a really bad one. I can't go out on a downer like that. I really can't. I'm gonna do one more, but I've got to rewind a lot more. That'll do. Oh no. <gasps> Ooh. Now, now that we've got that close, we have to just try just one more. And then this is the last one, okay? This 
is the last one, this is it. And if I don't get it, I'm really, 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 really sorry for wasting your time. That's <laughs> your fault, you watched it. Oh God, that's terrible. That can't be the last one, it has to be a close one on the last one. If it's really close, I'll have to do it again. <laughs> Right, that's it. That is it. I am done. That's about an hour. Hey, I tell you what, didn't I do well on those standing stones? Wasn't that impressive? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I cannot believe I didn't get it. I was so close so many times. Ah, oh, I'm gutted. So this video is now about an hour long. I really, really apologize. I hope to God that you read the description and you knew that I didn't get it. It's a little bit of a spoiler because you're probably hoping that I don't know whether to put it in the description or not. Mm. If I call the video trying to get that thing, excuse me, if I call the video trying to get the fast travel on top of the church, then I'm not saying that I'm getting it and anybody who watches the video, they should know that I'm going to fail. So there we go. I'm going to call the video trying to get the fast travel on top of the church and then whoever watches it, they, they should expect me to fail, which I do, so I'm not going to disappoint anyone. So there we go, guys. That is all. I am whacked, and I'm going to go and uh, hopefully find some kids and give them sweets. That sounded so bad. Um, I feel really guilty that they buzzed the door and I didn't go and answer it, so I'm going to save this, turn off, and then if anyone else buzzes the door, I'm going to make sure they get some candy, but I'm going to go and eat a little bit of candy now so that my wife doesn't think that I've been playing Xbox, ignoring children that are trick-or-treating. So I'll see you soon, guys. You take care. Have an awesome day, and I'm so, so sorry I didn't get it. I will. I will get this if it kills me. And I'm going to have to do it on video now, aren't I? I'll do it. I'll find a better car, or I'll do a better tuning. I'll do something, but I will get it. Next time, I'll get it. See you soon. Bye-bye.